these are the tomatoes that I harvested today. I've got some Roma. This is a brandy wine. Brandy wine. Some um, cherry, I think. Little cherry tomatoes. And I did take some of those shishito peppers off of those peppers that were being crowded out by the uh, cucumbers and squash. Can you move? Um, and then I got some spaghetti squash uh, that I am going to try to ripen. Um, I googled and it said that they will ripen off the, ho off the vine. And let's see. Stop! And then these were in, in some of the cucumbers that I got, some more spaghetti squash. The vine board had got those, so I just went ahead and pulled them. And some, these were the cute lemon cucumbers that I found, uh, green dragon off of the uh, cucumber that I pulled and some of the little then I went to the other area where um, I had squash and they the these were got by the vine board too but they just kept growing still. They bounced back and kept growing. So I did to some of the squash plants was, you know, when you see that hole in your squash plant from the vine borer, I just poured BT into that hole, a little bit of BT. That's it. I just poured a little bit of BT in there. Like, because when you're spraying, let me see, that light is so bright. When you're spraying BT into, on, I mean, on the squash to try to prevent the squash vine borer to get your squash, it doesn't work. They still get it. Okay, I gotta cool off your food, okay, buddy? Gotta cool it down. They still, they still get it. They still get it. So I suggest, get down, please. Get down. I suggest when you, you know, go ahead, you know, put your diatomaceous earth and all that. Still ain't gonna matter. They still get it. Maybe it prolongs it a little bit because I did get a lot of squash before I they got my squash before I saw the hole in the stem so what I suggest is instead of wasting your money spending your money spraying with the BT and diatomaceous earth just let it grow <laughs> wait till you see the hole pour a little BT in there and then the plants pop back that's what happened that's what happened. That's what happened. They were still growing. They were still growing. They were still producing. Now, a couple of those squash plants were not really producing anymore. They were slow, so I just pulled them. But the majority of them, I say 75% of my squash plants that got attacked by the vine borer when I poured the BT in them, after that, and some of them, I didn't even pour BT in them. Like, I just didn't have any BT. They still kept producing. So, yeah. I think I'm going to have to uh, sell some of this stuff. Like, maybe, like, make a little stand in my driveway <laughs> and sell some of this stuff. Because I have too much. I have already canned so much. This is the lemon 
cucumber salsa that I canned last night. I have a total of 15 pints. This is a basket of patty pans that I have. A basket of crook necks that I have. Okay. I've got some tomatoes in here. Some more. Some more. This is what I got tonight. And then go to the other part of the garden. I'll be right back, Kane. Stay. And then let me show you what I've stored in my little makeshift, makeshift pantry. Because I don't have a pantry. This is, and this is not even... Yeah, pickles and squash, so much, so much, and some in the cabinets in the kitchen, too. So, uh, and then that's not even the cucumbers that are in my refrigerator. I got refrigerator full of cucumbers right now. Oh, here. Okay. And I gotta do something with these before they go bad. Cause they are the skins look, but they're they're still hard. But the skins just look funny. So yeah. It's a lot. So, yeah, I think I'm going to have to sell some stuff. All right, I did a lot today. I took advantage of the very nice day that it was. It was still buggy, but it was cool enough. The sun wasn't out too much that I was able to get that bed done, get it planted with all my beans. Um, and so now I'm going to have to uh, get to canning uh, the rest of this these things, these squashes, how to work on the cu cucumbers, and um, yeah, that's not, I didn't even, I'll show you, give you an update on the cucumbers that I am fermenting. I am fermenting right now 10 pounds of cucumber. There they go. The plates are to keep everything below the brine, and I put some fresh dill from... So it looks good. And then actually tomorrow, so I'm starting to see some some mold or scum or whatever. So I will get that off of there. And then tomorrow I will add some more um, salt to the brine. Even though the salt is under here and it's not dissolving. So I don't know, I might mix it up or something. But Anyway, that is the update on the pickles, the dill pickles that I am actually fermenting. So I am very happy that I have a lot of food um, to store. Um, tomatoes are starting to roll in, so I'll be um, making tomato sauce and I'll be making um, more salsa. Um, Lots of peppers, but I'm leaving the peppers on so they can start turning colors. Some of those peppers are getting really big. Hey, boy. All right. Thanks for watching. Share, uh, comment. Got any questions? Put it in the comments. I try to see and answer people's comments. And thanks for watching. Bye.